A lot of us have learned how to use keyframes to move objects and text on screen and create animations. But what if you wanted to do something like have an object swing back and forth continuously without having to do a ton of work to create that animation? Let me show you how to do that. Let me grab a simple image I built in Photoshop. It's just a little stick figure of a child on a swing. But it's an image. Nothing is going on here. If I scroll through the timeline, it's not moving in any way. Let's start by right clicking up in the media pool and scroll down to create a new fusion composition. You can name that whatever you want. And then you can bring that right down into your timeline. Let's right click on that and let's choose open in fusion. Now it's going to look like a single media out node because we haven't created anything yet. Let me start by bringing down a background and connecting that to the output. Let me change this color to white. Now up in the media pool, I'm gonna grab an image that I created that's a child on a swing. I'm gonna add that over the background by grabbing the output block of that image and connecting it to the output node of the background. That adds my merge. And now you can see I have an image of a kid on a swing, but let's say I wanna animate this. What I can do is put my playhead all the way back to the beginning, select the node of the kid on the swing, and let me add a transform node here. Now with that transform node selected, let me go to the upper right, and you'll see that you have options for center X and Y and also pivot X and Y. If I were to grab the angle, left click and rock it back and forth, it would pivot this whole image based on that center location. But I can go up to the pivot X, left click, hold and drag to the right, and you can see it exposes that pivot point. This defines the center of all the motion we apply in the transform node. Typically it's set for right in the middle, but let's left click on that X and I'm gonna put it right up here at the top of his rope and make that the new pivot point. And now you'll see when I move that angle, it actually pivots on that new pivot point. Let's make sure our playhead is back at the beginning. Let me move that angle back to the left so it looks like he's swinging backwards. Let me set a keyframe right there and I'll move the playhead forward a couple of hundred frames because we're at 60 frames per second. And then I'll left click and drag that angle forward. Now you'll see it looks like the motion looks like he's swinging forward. But with that transform node selected, I can go back up to the spline menu, turn on the transform keyframe options, hit the zoom to fit so I can see both keyframes. Let me shrink this down a little bit, select both of those keyframes, hit F on my keyboard to flatten that curve a bit. I'm going to right click, go up to set loop. I'm gonna choose ping pong. What it's gonna do is do a back and forth repeat of those keyframes. I can grab this upper keyframe here and pull it left to speed up the swinging motion or left Left click and drag it to the right to slow that swinging motion down. And if I go back to the edit page, you can now see that this child is swinging back and forth with a very simple animation that I created inside of Fusion.